Hey everybody, I've been craving some Korean style fried chicken wings with the kochijan sauce and everything, but I really don't want to eat anything fried right now. I mean, I love fried food, but you know, it's not really good for you. And seeing as how we're going to be trying to do healthier, instead of using chicken wings, let's use cauliflower. So these are going to be cauliflower Korean fried chicken wings. So for the recipe, we need to, we should make our sauce first. That way the sauce has a time to kind of come together. In this bowl, I have two tablespoons of kochijan, two tablespoons of ketchup. Oh, by the way, this recipe is working in, are gonna be in conjunction with a website called zenkimchi.com. It's a, a Korean food blog. If you guys like Korean food, you should definitely be checking out that blog. Uh, Joe, the guy who runs the blog, saw this uh, uh, my test recipe on Facebook the other day, and he was like, hey, let's do something together on this. So anyway, this is the most Korean ingredient you can catch, come up with. It's ketchup. Actually, not really Korean, but hey, it works really well with kochijan. It's got a little bit of a natural sweet and sour to it. It's going to help make this really good. Now, Got one tablespoon of raw sugar. Use that. One tablespoon of sesame sauce or soy sauce, not sesame sauce, soy sauce. Sesame oil, got one teaspoon of ses sesame oil. I have one tablespoon of honey. And what would the Korean recipe be without garlic? I have half a teaspoon of garlic here that's been finely minced. I mean, we buy garlic by huge amounts and just chop it up in the uh, food processor. Anyway, we're gonna mix this all together. So this has got kochijang, ketchup, sugar, sesame oil. So it's got all the good flavors that we're looking for. And we're just gonna kinda let this all come together. Now my oven's preheating to 425. F right now and so that way when we get everything else ready the oven will be ready as well. Now we're going to make our batter for our cauliflower and by the way this just happens to be gluten free. It wasn't intended that way but it turns out that way. And here I have a quarter cup of sweet rice flour. Here I have a quarter cup of potato starch. And you can adjust that ratio however you want to. Oh, I've mixed this up already. But anyway, I have one half teaspoon of granulated garlic, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. The salt you could leave off if you want to because the sauce is already kind of salty. I just don't want my batter to be bland. We're going to kind of mix this up a little bit. And then we're going to add our water. Now this, how much or how little water to add is going to be up to you, but definitely a quarter cup is not enough and half a cup is really, really thin. Now you may like it really thin and hey, it's up to you. Anyway, we're going to mix this up. Yeah. So now this is a little bit thick. This was six tablespoons of water. So let's add one more. So that's seven. And it, that's gonna kind of depend on how you measure your quarter cups. So you know how this is thinning out, just about like what I want. But when I put a half a cup, which is eight taste tablespoons, it really was too thin. It was just runny. See how this is kind of paste-like? This will do what we want to do. Now, we've got our cauliflower right here. Pour this on. Now that we've got that kind of poured in there, we're going to kind of mix this up. That way everything coats. 
Now this, I'm, the recipe's saying half a small, or a, a small head of cauliflower. I actually, the other day I bought cauliflower when I did the test recipe. I had a huge head of cauliflower and I used about half of it the other day and I'm using the other half today. So you might want to adjust your mounts a little bit. If you want to, get, if you get a big head of cauliflower, then make up a bunch more. Anyway, that's coated pretty good, I think. Our oven's all preheated, so that's looking good there. All right. Now, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay these on here. I've got a just a cookie pan, I've got some parchment paper on there. Makes for easy cleanup because I'm lazy. And we're just gonna throw these on here. And you want some space in between them. You know, these were cut up basically in bite-sized pieces, something you want to pick up and chomp on. Now I do have some batter left. I'll show you that here in just a second. See there is some batter left in the bowl. So you could do more wings with this amount of batter. But that's all I have. Now these are going to go into the oven. Like I said, the oven's already preheated to 425. And these are going to go in for 30 minutes and then we'll pull them out and we'll do something else with them here in a minute. But what you're looking for, because to, depending on your oven, they may or may not be ready. You want them to be basically getting done and you want to start seeing black spots on the cauliflower. So after 30 minutes, this is what they look like. I'm starting to get some spots on them, which is what I was looking for. Now we're going to take these. And we're going to throw them into a bowl. See how on the bottom? Now we're going to start drizzling our sauce on here. I'm not going to use quite all of this sauce. We're going to toss these around. By the way, that sauce is not going to go to waste, I promise you. What's left in that bowl will be used on something. Our pan's still hot, so we got to be careful with it. We're going to take the. We're going to take these. We're going to put them out here. Spread them out. Get a little space in there. And these are going to go back into the oven for about 15 minutes. So let's see what they look like. In there, get some nice little black spots on them. I think these are done and yum. So now I'm going to plate these up. I'm try to make it look pretty. I'm not sure. Now, you see these little white pieces? Those are nice and crunchy. You may like that, you may not. I do. Now, just to garnish, let me move this a little bit. I've got some toasted sesame seeds. 
I'm just going to sprinkle them on there. There you go. Now I could put some green onion on there, but when I went to go to the refrigerator, the green onion didn't look so good today, so I left that off. Anyway, let me take a picture and I'll be back to taste test these for you. So the real question is, how does it taste? I mean, it looks good. I really like that. It's got a little bit of sweet. It's got some sour on the ketchup. It's got that spicy from the cochijam. A little garlic in there, a little salty. I like it. 